So, once you're confident with one-step equations, you move on to two-step equations. And two-step equations look like this. And they usually have a something x plus or subtract a number is equal to a number on the right-hand side. Okay. So, the key thing from the previous video was that you want to get x by itself. You want to end up with just x equals at the end. No numbers, um, nothing added on to the x on the left-hand side, just x equals. And so you need to get everything away from the x. And the way that you do that is you're going through a process where you're working bid mass backwards. So remember bid mass. Bid mass look like this, where you dealt with brackets first, then indices, then division and multiplication, then addition and subtraction. So if you're working backwards, you first got to deal with the addition and subtraction that's there. And the first thing that I spot is that there is an addition, this plus 5. And what you want to do is you want to unravel it. So you want to try and make sure that what you're doing is starting off with something plus 5 is 25. So deal with the addition first and subtract that. Do the opposite. Subtract 5 from both sides so that you're left with 2x is 20, because 20 plus 5 is 25. You then are left with a one-step equation, 2x equals 20. So two lots of something must be 20. So that something must be 10. And if you want to think of it in the big mass root, then we've dealt with the addition and subtraction, then we're dealing with the multiplication. So x equals 10 is what we're left with. So that's our two-step equation. 3x minus 8 equals 4, and do it a similar way. We deal with the addition and subtraction first on a spot that there's a take away 8. So something, take away 8, is 4. So that something must be 12. 12 take away 8 is 4. You could also see it as, because we subtracted 5 from both sides here, we're adding 8 to both sides, so we do the reverse operation. Add 8 to both sides and we get 12. So 3x is 12, so 3 lots of something is 12, so the something must be 4. 3 4s are 12. Okay? So you could also see that as dividing both sides by the 3. Let's look at one more example of this. Let's say we had something like that. Yeah, okay, let's go. So what we have here is x over 5 plus 7 equals 32. So I'm dealing with bid mass backwards and I'm going to deal with the addition subtraction first. So something plus 7 is 32, and that something must be 25, because 25 plus 7 is 32. Then I've got something divided by 5 is 25. Now, that one's a little bit more complicated, something divided by 5 is 25, but it's the same thing as 5 times 25, so you can multiply those numbers together. So 5 lots of 25 is 125. So these are two-step equations, okay? And we're going on to more complicated equations next up.